Hey guys, uh, I am super excited because I just got this in the mail. This in the mail. Yes, it is a new pedal from Source Audio. Why am I excited? Because I love Source Audio. I got this Source Audio multi wave distortion, which is unbelievably super cool. I've got the Source Audio Ventress Dual Reverb, which is unbelievably super cool. And I've got the Source Audio Nemesis Delay, which is unbelievably super cool. These are fantastic pedals. Uh, I love these. However, they're a little big, right? If maybe I could just merge these pedals and they're dual engine, two reverbs, two delays. Take one engine of the delay, one engine of the reverb, and put them into one pedal. God, wouldn't that be such a good idea, right? Huh? 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 Ta-da! That is exactly what they did for me. For us. For everybody. Uh, they don't know who I am. The Collider Dual DSP Reverb Pedal. So I'm going to play you a couple examples through the reverb side, then the delay side, and then I'll mix it up a little bit. Uh, this is my dry signal. I'm playing through the Friedman modified X88R into a VHT2150 and a 412. Beautiful room sound. Jump over to the larger hall. The controls change for whichever patch you're on. Uh, for instance, on the hall, tone is the treble, uh, control one is the bass, control two is the size of the hall. which that created a really long, beautiful, bright, crystal-y sort of hall sound. Let's jump over to the spring setting. Thank you. 
plate. It's kind of a more neutral version of like a spring. It's kind of a cross between a hall and a spring. <laughs> By now everyone's familiar with the shimmer, the good old shimmer. That sort of throws an octave up top and kind of arpeggiates the top a little bit. Uh, or it's a, a feeling of that really crystally shimmery stuff. That's the name Shimmer. The E Dome is the Enormo Dome. It's like their biggest, like, mega reverb. <laughs> Lastly, we've got the swell. So now I've jumped over to the delay side. There's a little switch in the corner that allows you to switch from the delay controls or reverb controls. So I've got that on the delay side. Um, of course you can tap on the, uh, the delay side. On most of the delays, the extra controls will control modulation. Uh, so I have the modulation turned down lower, and the tone control is a sort of a bright dark. It's working as a tone control here. I really love Source Audio's, the tonality of the delays, uh, like on the Nemesis, it reminds, it, it's not modeled on, but it reminds me of like when you have the PCM41 or the, the Roland SDE 3000s, it has that old analog delay sound to me and it just sits so nicely. Let's go to the analog, which is gonna be darker, I'm, I'm guessing. Oh, it's quite dark. delay. Ooh, I love the vibe on that already.
I'm set up in stereo, so you're getting uh, two tape echoes happening in stereo, which is always kind of a nice uh, vibey thing too. <laughs> Great sound. All right, reverse. That's fun. Oil can. Super lo-fi. Now we've heard everything along the dial, and now we can mix them. I've got a uh, tape delay and a true spring. Yeah. Yeah! Yeah, that's great. You get that little slap, you get the little room. That's really nice. Really just makes everything, all the notes gel together. It's so much more fun to play than dry, as you all know. Let's go for some longer stuff here. So I'm gonna go to the hall on the reverb side. Tape. Oh, I went a little loud on the effects.
gives you lots of stereo juiciness. Uh, and of course, if you just plug in one of your cables, you're going to get lots of juicy mono-ness. So, super cool. This is really great, especially for uh, the travel rig where I don't want to spread out my reverbs and delays. I could get everything in there. You've got four presets that you could load up. Of course, like all of the Source Audio stuff, uh, you could do all kinds of editing on a phone app. That's really easy to plug in there. If you like, if you're not a tweaker and you just want a killer reverb and killer delay, this is a really great option for you. Uh, all right, thank you guys for watching. Have a great one. See ya.